guys, I'm back. Um, if you're like me right now, you're probably looking for just new things to keep yourself busy with everything going on in the world right now. So I wanted to kind of show you something that I have been working on that I am hooked on at this point. This is called Diamond Art, and you'll see that this one is kind of an Eiffel Tower scene. And what I wanted to show you was a couple of things on here. So on this one in particular, it shows you the dimensions. You'll also notice over here that there is a key. The codes are different symbols, like that's a red box with an X, and then it has the number 154 on it. The numbers are to help you to know what to put where. In that case, everywhere that there was a red box with a white X in it, you would put the stones that match up with 154. And what I mean by that is that each color comes with a little pack like this. Some might have five, some might have one, some might have 15. It really just depends on the picture that you're looking at. Um, this is actually from the next one that I'm already working on. The reason they do this and that each one has a number like this is just to help you keep track of the colors, the different colors that you're working with. Because especially like in this case, there were lots and lots of different shades of gray and black, as you can tell. And so one thing that has really helped me in the process is I'll keep a single sheet from each of the colors. They aren't resealable, but what I do is I'll take the little sheet and I'll put it inside a Ziploc bag. And then if I have any leftover stones after I think I've pretty much finished up with that one color, then they're all in, the, in one secured place. Another thing that I do is I bought a little box like this. And what I have is I have all the Ziploc bags that I've already used with all the stones that I've already used inside here. That way, everything's just kind of one location. You can see I have this little stick in here as well. I've got wax and extra tweezers because I've done a couple of these now. But how it works is you, you have this little pin thing right now. And actually, you can see this. You can see that I have one of the stones on here right now. Um, I'm going to pick that off just so you can see the other part. But I have a little tray here. So what you do is you've got your tray of, of stones. You've also got this little sheet with this little block of red wax. And then what you do is you take your little pin here. Again, it has just a little metal flat tip and you stick it into the wax, press in. You wanna make sure that this is peeled back because you won't be able to get wax on it if you don't. Now that your uh, pin tip is sticky, you can take your pin tip and stick it into the stones. And you'll notice that the stone will stick so you'll want to make sure that the pin tip dips into the top of the stone and not the back of the stone. The back of the stone is flat, whereas the top is more like beveled and decorative. You want the decorative side to be the one that sticks out and the flat edge to be what goes up against the adhesive on the paper. So you'll take your stone and I'll show you the one that I'm working on right now. Again, this is a really, really big one. That's why I didn't really want to show you. But I've got this side covered up just because the sticky kind of wears off after a while. But you look for, you have your number that lines up with your colored stone. And then you just look and see, look for the symbol that goes with that, with that number. And then you figure out where all you need to put that particular color stone. But you'll notice there's all different letters and numbers and symbols and so again paint it's like paint by numbers and that's how you'll know where to put each of those little stones based on the numbers that match up with it in your kit you'll also notice that there is a pair of kind of cool looking tweezers and really what this is for and i'll go back to the one i'm working on again is say you've laid a stone down somewhere and it's not quite where you want it to be or maybe it's crooked these little tweezers can help you kind of manipulate and shift it around onto the paper um, to get it lined up like you like it. Um, again, it is really adhesive, but it's not so sticky that you can't move the, the stones around. In addition to the bag of stones, the different colored stones, you'll have, again, you'll have your pen, you'll have your tray, you'll have the wax, and you'll have the tweezers. The other thing you'll have usually, and maybe not in every case, this one's kind of rough because I've already done this one, is you'll also have a paper version of, of the uh, what's built in for the code. And so all of that will match. The biggest difference is that usually the paper codes will show you 
um, the total number of stones that you have and it will also tell you how many bags for each color that you have as well. So there are advantages of using kind of a combination of both just to kind of help you, uh, you know, just keep track of everything. This particular website, I ordered this one through Amazon and they, they have kind of their own instructions built in, but it's really super easy. It's super simple. Um, definitely I, my biggest suggestion is get a container and maybe invest in some small Ziploc bags. They do usually come with some extra small Ziploc bags, but I usually tend to run out for some reason every time I've done these. You can also get a little laptop tray like this. It's literally just a flat tray for your lap. And I like this just because I like to do these just sitting kind of on the couch, kind of hanging out. Um, I don't necessarily want to sit at a table all night. And so this just kind of gives me a flat working surface. I can link this in the description below um, if you want to buy something like this on Amazon. So yeah, that's pretty much how diamond art works. Again, there are other names for it. It might be diamond art. It might be diamond paint by number. Different companies call them different things. It really just depends. You can find them on Etsy. I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby. There's lots and lots of options for where to get these and everywhere has different versions. So I would say, you know, maybe start by looking online and just seeing if you can find something that you like. I, I picked the images that I liked first and kind of got different variations of the level of difficulty. I think this one, yeah, this one is an intermediate, so it says age 13 and up. But yeah, I think organization is definitely the key in this as far as keeping everything from spilling everywhere and just keeping track of the different stones. Definitely try to have a system, you know, kind of like mine maybe, or something similar that works for you just to help you keep track. You know, you could even, I guess, write in Sharpie on Ziploc bags if you lose the original bag, something like that. Just, just something to help you keep track of the different colors because especially in the big ones, it can get really, really confusing when you have multiple shades of the same color. So, Again, that is diamond art. I just want to make sure I covered everything. And when I got into this, I didn't really know a lot of the tips and tricks. If you have done these and maybe you have another tip or trick that I didn't cover, definitely leave it in the comments below because it might help me out too. If you guys have any questions, shoot me a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, um, leave me a comment down below as well for that. I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.